A currency world war is looming for the global economy. This, according to Russia, having sent out the warning. The concerns were sparked by Japan's move to lower the yen in pursuit of better exports, causing fears of a massive chain reaction as other nations follow suit. Now, it's easy to go to Piskunov reports. An economy not so far away, actually. The global economy is on the verge of a currency war. Let me paint a quick picture for you. Japan, where the newly elected prime minister is pushing for a more aggressive central bank policy, has been dropping the yen. It went down by 11 percent since December. Meanwhile, in the European Union, experts say Europe has fired the first shell. EU financial authorities warn the rising euro is threatening the economy. Despite the debt and eurozone crisis, austerity measures and so on, the euro grew by 7% in the last six months. So it is possible that you will start dropping it also. Now the United States have been printing bucks for the last five years to support the markets, but that also makes the dollar cheaper. Washington has been looking over the shoulder uh, at China, which holds the majority of U.S. foreign debt, and Beijing is also accused of holding back its currency. The reason why they do that is when a currency is dropped, the export becomes cheaper, makes the country more compa uh, compatible. But it isn't applauded by other countries, which may retaliate by dropping their currency. So it's kind of like a, a domino effect. But the last time a major currency war happened was during the Great Depression era in the 1930s, which resulted in a slowdown of international trade and all was part of the lead up to World War II. But that's not all. If the exports become cheaper, the imports become more expensive. So ordinary people buy less. And when they travel abroad, that's more expensive as well. So basically, that kind of uh, worsens their, uh, their quality of life. So that leads to public disapproval, unrest, and so on. So uh, it's kind of like a, a domino effect. Like I said, the dominoes are all there in place. And that's why Russia is uh, so worried about it. It currently chairs the G20. Its financial ministers are set to meet in Moscow next month. And we should expect quite a skirmish.